The American Bully and the American Pit Bull Terrier are frequently mistaken for one and the same dog. In actuality, these two puppies are not the same. There are some differences in their sizes and builds, despite the fact that they do have certain commonalities. Discover how these two bullies compare to one another. Because they are both pit bull type dogs, the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Bully have a lot in common. People frequently mix the two up. Yes, even the many pit bull admirers. However, a few variations distinguish two dogs from one another. Prior to bringing a new dog into your house, it's crucial to learn as much as you can about the dog, including their background, character qualities, and temperament. Pit bulls and American bullies can both be excellent companion dogs, but neither breed is ideal for every family. You've come to the perfect location if you're here because you can't decide between these two well-liked dogs. You'll discover information about both pets, beginning with their past. Additionally, you'll discover which breed of dog suits various lifestyles better. Both dogs can become fantastic family companions. All they require is the appropriate home. Let's examine these two puppies by examining their differences and similarities. Many dog owners adopt a dog into their family without investigating the animal's pedigree. However, canine history is crucial since it will reveal all about their original intent, which will make it easier for you to comprehend them and make sure you are able to meet their needs. See how the pit bull and the bully are related historically. The American Pit Bull Terrier, also referred to as the pit bull, was developed in England in the 1800s. To make the ideal combat dog, Bulldogs and Terriers were crossed to produce his forefathers. He was utilized in blood sports to compete against other canines and slaughter as many rats as he could in the ring. The combatants brought their fighting canines to America when the barbaric pastime was outlawed in England. To develop the pit bull, the largest, most successful breeds were crossed there. They have a fearsome reputation as a result of this. However, as soon as fighting was outlawed in America, people realized how gentle and devoted he really is. He gained notoriety as a ranch employee, but also as a therapy dog. And more families all across the world are welcoming this magnificent dog into their homes thanks to canine education. He is acknowledged by the United Kennel Club, UKC, not the American Kennel Club, AKC, UKC. The American Bully is one of four breeds of dogs that are considered to be similar to pit bulls. He is a pit bull's natural extension, which explains why they resemble each other so much. The American Bulldog, English Bulldog, and Old English Bulldog are thought to have also been employed in his construction. He is American in origin, and the UKC recognized him as a distinct dog breed in 2013. This dog is governed by breed-specific legislation and has the same misguided reputation as American Pit Bull Terriers, BSL. In the realm of bully dogs, the American Bully is something of a celebrity. The priciest bully, White Rhino, sold for an astounding quarter of a million dollars. He became quite sought after as a result. These two canines look nothing alike, despite the fact that they are both frequently referred to as pit bulls. From paw to shoulder, the pit bull typically stands between 17 and 21 inches tall. Additionally, he has a weight range of 30 to 65 pounds, making him a medium to occasionally large-sized dog. The pit tie is a suitable pet for most family homes thanks to his average size. There are four different American bully sizes, according to the American Bully Kennel Club. The pocket is the smallest size, followed by the standard, classic, and XL. Bullies typically weigh between 25 and 120 pounds, depending on the size you select. You must be aware of the size bully you are bringing into your home given this amazing weight range. They are between 13 and 23 inches tall. The record for 174 pounds is held by a bully by the name of Hulk. The pit bull is a proportionate looking dog that has a muscular and athletic appearance. 
The simplest way to distinguish a bully from another dog is by their lack of proportionate build. The bully dog is broader and shorter than he is tall. He resembles an English bulldog in appearance, but he is wider and has more muscle. Many individuals are overly intimidated by them because of their history and scary dog appearance. They are obvious softies just by looking at their ear-to-ear -ear smiles. Both dogs have soft-to-the-touch short, straight double coats. They have plush coats, and the bully is frequently compared to a velvet hippo. Anything is okay, with the exception of merles and albinism, and they both appreciate a variety of canine hues. Pit bulls are most frequently seen in the white, red-nosed, and blue-nosed colors. Some irresponsible breeders will attempt to sell pit bulls and bullies that aren't actually pit bulls or bullies. Both dogs have temperaments that are remarkably similar. They are both sociable canines who enjoy human interaction. They will experience sadness, frustration, and anxiety without it. You should definitely consider alternative breeds if your family is unable to provide them with company for the majority of the day. But if you can, you'll discover a shadow-turned four-legged closest friend in each of these men. Both of them are wonderful additions to families and adore kids. You shouldn't leave children alone with any dogs, but you can be sure that these two will be lured to cuddling up to and watching over your kids because they are both referred to as nanny dogs. They are both excellent choices for therapy dogs since they are highly attuned to humans and their emotions. They are equally devoted to one another and will protect their family if it is in danger. The truth is that these animals are amiable by nature and do not make good security dogs unless they are specially trained to do so. Not like the Doberman Pinscher or German Shepherd, which are naturally guard dogs. They won't usually start fights, but they will protect themselves if necessary. Contrary to what some people think. Sadly, you will see people avoiding you and your bully type breed by crossing the sidewalk. They are both quite entertaining due to their love of people and high energy levels. These two will always be available to play games with you and your family. These gentlemen offer top-notch canine entertainment for no charge. They will enjoy nothing more than cuddling up with you in bed after a fun-filled day. Although they are both as cuddly, some could argue that the larger, rollier bully delivers warmer embraces. Both dogs require roughly the same amount of exercise. They both need to exercise for 60 minutes a day to be happy and healthy. These two men are not couch potatoes. The hefty American bully included. The pit bull would be the breed of choice if we had to pick one that was more active than the others. The pit bull need greater mental stimulation during the day and is more athletic and nimble. Because of his English bulldog ancestry, the bully enjoys relaxing after workouts. Choose a durable toy that can sustain their continual play because both are stubborn and rough in their play. Pit bulls are thought to be significantly smarter than bullies, so get him a couple puzzle toys to keep him occupied. You shouldn't have a bored dog on your hands if you keep their exercise varied and provide them interactive play. It is advisable to keep them both on leashes when out in public because of their feared reputation. All canines have a certain amount of unpredictable behavior, even though they aren't the ones who are most prone to cause trouble. Whatever dog you select, you should also research the BSL regulations in your area. Bully-type dogs must be muzzled in public, according to some laws. And some don't let people into dog parks. Both dogs have slightly different training requirements and capacities. Pit bulls are clever, eager to please dogs that respond well to training. He is suitable for new dog owners with a little research on dog training. Again, the bully can be a little more obstinate and rebellious because of his English bulldog ancestry. He needs a more seasoned dog owner who can harness his independence and bring out the best in him. These dogs need to be socialized from the beginning. Before you bring the dog home, a good breeder will begin training him or her. Then it will be up to you to carry on. You should combine the two with as many dogs and people as you can. Additionally, introduce them to various sights, sounds, and smells. 
Due to his history in dogfighting, the pit bull may exhibit fear aggression traits more than the bully if he is not properly socialized. Positive reinforcement training works best for both dogs, so be sure to look into it and apply it. No dog should ever be subjected to abusive handling or training methods. However, not strong dogs like these, as combining the two can result in dangerous dogs. Learn what inspires your dog the most. Treats are likely to motivate the bully, and toys are likely to motivate pit bulls in general. Both dogs yearn for human company. And even though they deserve it and we would love to, we can't be with them all the time. All dogs should be trained to use crates, but those who are prone to separation anxiety should be trained the most. Since all dogs need shelter, find the ideal dog box for pit bulls. Your nasty pit bull type dog will probably take his favorite toys in there as well, we'd bet. Both of these dogs, especially the pit bulls, are in excellent health. Compared to the bully, who has an average lifespan of 9 to 13 years, the pit bull has a lifespan of 12 to 16 years. Both of these canines, like all dogs, are more susceptible to some health issues than others. Your dog will live longer if you feed them high-quality food, keep them active, and take them in for regular checkups. Pit bulls are more likely than other dogs to develop hip dysplasia. This is a congenital disease that develops when the upper thigh bone and the hip socket do not sit properly. This increases the risk of severe arthritis in later life and can dislocate the hip. Skin disorders should also be watched out for as a health concern. Ichthyosis, demodectic mange, zinc-responsive dermatosis, and allergic irritant reactions are the most prevalent. Although they are typically not significant, they should be looked into to enhance quality of life. Similarly, hip dysplasia also affects American bullies. The bully is susceptible to a number of eye disorders, including cherry eye, cataracts, and progressive retinal atrophy, PRA. Breeders of high caliber will check for heart problems, which are inherited from the genetics of the English Bulldog. Despite not being a brachycephalic breed, the bully has a somewhat shorter muzzle. He is less tolerant to warm conditions than the pit bull, in other words. The American bully's widely disparate weight and dietary requirements make it challenging to compare these two in terms of nutrition. The typical pit bull will eat two to three cups of food every day. However, the bully might eat anything from 1.5 to 5 cups of food per day. It follows that the monthly cost of food may be entirely different or nearly the same. The food packaging should be followed in the end for specific instructions. American bullies need to consume kibble designed for bullies. Additionally, pit bulls will thrive on kibble that has been prescribed just for them. Feed them the best food you can afford, as you should with all dogs, because diet can have a significant impact on a dog's health. Feed them both foods that are suitable for their ages, especially while they are puppies because it creates the framework for a healthy body. Bully gas, according to many pit bull type dog owners, is the worst of all. Thankfully, the coats on both of these puppies are simple to maintain. To keep their straight, short hair appearing healthy and shining, they just need to be brushed once a week. It will disseminate natural coat oils, get rid of dead hair and grime, and it is a peaceful moment to spend with your dog. A straightforward bristle brush would be an excellent brushing instrument for both of these gentlemen. Bullies and pit bulls both shed on average. Both do not blow their coats on a seasonal basis, which is quite appealing to many owners. Once every two to three months, both dogs should get baths. Or, as and when they require it, if they become really muddy while out on their walkies. Just once every month at most, it is advised to use a shampoo made for dogs with sensitive skin while shampooing either of these puppies. At least twice a week, they should brush their teeth. Due to their increased susceptibility of periodontal diseases, you could need more if you have a little bully. On average, an American bully puppy costs more than a pit bull dog. Pitbull puppies start at about $1,000 from a reputable breeder.
compared to a bully puppy's $1,200 price tag. Pit bulls are so prevalent in American shelters that the cost has decreased. The birthing procedure can differ from that of other dogs depending on the size and shape of the bully. If you wish to work with a well-known breeder or canine celebrity, you can anticipate paying significantly more. The topic of saving bully breeds should constantly come up in family discussions. Working with a trustworthy breeder is essential if you decide to purchase a puppy. Both of these canines are perfect targets for the terrible sports in which many people still fight their pets. Many breeders prioritize financial gain over the well-being of their puppies. Therefore, conduct your research and make sure the breeder you work with takes all necessary steps to create healthy puppies. Not just the initial puppy cost, but also continuous lifetime costs must be taken into account. All puppies need fresh beds, crates, and toys. Additional expenses include food, pet insurance, and medical costs. Both dogs may need special dangerous dog insurance or licensing in some locations. These additional financial obligations must also be taken into account. Final Reflections Folks, that's all. In all their splendor, the pit bull and the American bully. The bully is occasionally greater in size, which is the primary distinction to be made. They might live less time, and they might be harder to train. However, as you can tell from our canine comparison, they are more alike than unlike. They are both categorized as dangerous bully dogs, which causes public panic and results in some disastrous BSL laws. However, if you can get past that, you will undoubtedly find a cute dog to add to your family.